back to my channel, I am Miss Lauren the 11 and today I'm going to be sticking to a brand that I've recently tried, i.e. but as I am. Today my hair is in not dire need of a wash, but it is wash day. So I'm going to try again. I'm going to be trying a co-wash. I paid $7.99 for this one. If you saw my last video, well, my penultimate video, let's say. If you saw my penultimate video, then you will know that I have reviewed the As I Am spray and I'm keeping to that theme today. Gorgeous. This is what it looks like. It smells like a product I've smelled before, but it wasn't in the As I Am brand. It smells like a pina colada. Mm -hmm. Pina colada smoothie. It smells yummy. <laughs> So anyway, this is a co-wash. I'm not fond of co-washes. I usually wash my hair with a clarifying shampoo every week. Um, I'm trying to get as much moisture as possible. So even though a clarifying shampoo can be moisturizing, it still to an extent, I guess, strips the hair a little. So I'm gonna pour back on the shampoo in. I'm gonna do the shampoo every three weeks and I'm just gonna continue to co-wash every week. So let me just show you my hair. Yeah, I've had my hair in plaits. It's a lot going on. Don't know if you can see guys, maybe you can't i had a bit of product build up on my hair so i want to see how well this cleanses my hair i'm gonna to have to end up using the shampoo so that's what i'm testing today so let me just read to you what it has in it, it says coconut co-wash with tangerine coconut oil castor oil saw palmetto it says cleansing cream conditioner effectively cleanses hair and scalp without sulfates and harsh detergents hydrates dry hair for more vibrant manageable natural coils and curls so I'm not worried about the coils and curls because as of now, I'm wearing my hair stretched and wearing it in plaits, okay? Directions. Rub a liberal amount within palms and distribute through wet hair. Work product through hair and massage scalp with fingertips as you would with a conventional shampoo. Guys, I'm struggling to read it because this is what I mentioned on the package last time. It is a bit difficult to read the gold and you have to kind of hold it in the light so you can see it reflecting. Otherwise, it doesn't actually look like anything. If you can see that, Anyway, so let's uh, just get to this video. Okay guys, so as I have low porosity hair, <laughs> it's taken a long time for my hair to get drenched. It's still not 100% drenched. It's the only annoying thing about having low porosity hair. It just takes so long for the water to seep into my strands. So my hair is as wet as it could possibly be right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start applying the co-wash like a shampoo. I've washed my hair with co-washes before, but I just can't get used to the feeling of cleansing my hair. Not clarifying it, cleansing it. We'll see until next wash day. <laughs> with a conditioner. It just literally feels like I'm washing my hair with a deep conditioner, basically. But I'm not complaining, because this is what I signed up for. I was the one that picked up the co-wash. <laughs> oh, the tangle was lovely. Wow, guys. It kind of smells like pina colada and bubble gum now. Tutti frutti bubble gum. Look at that guys, I am literally combing my fingers through my hair. And what I actually love about this so far, yes I said love, what I love about this is that it's actually moisturising to my hair, the slip is crazy. Just by looking at it, the way my hair is curling, I can see that the conditioner is actually seeping into my strands, therefore my hair is obtaining the moisture it needs. So if I can do this and then deep condition, that would be perfect for my moisture levels. But guys, beware, you don't want to overdo moisture and have moisture overload because that can also lead to your hair breaking unnecessarily because it can become too spongy, too springy and snap. You need a moisture protein balance. <sighs> I don't know if my hair, it's not giving me that clean feeling, but it's eradicated the guilt that I feel when I wash my hair with shampoo. What I mean by that is, washing my hair with a shampoo, no matter how moisturising it says it is on the label, I still feel like my hair is being stripped of the natural oils, which to an extent it is. But obviously this is where pre-poo comes in. And I will be doing a video about pre-poos. I feel when you're doing a co-wash, and this is just obviously my opinion, I feel when you're doing your co-wash, I don't necessarily feel that a pre-poo is necessary I didn't think that this job was gonna last actually, but to be honest, I've only used like a small handful. It's quite runny, very creamy, but also it's enough to coat the strands even more than enough. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly go and do the other side. I'll be back to you in a sec once the hair is completely done. Hey guys, so it's fully applied to my hair now. Let me just show you how much I've used. I think I can get about two to three washes out of this. So if I'm gonna do this, 
once every three weeks and then clarify with a shampoo on the fourth week, I think that will last me the month. I think I can get about two more washes out of this. But um, it literally just feels like a deep conditioner, I'm not gonna lie. Does my hair feel clean? No more cleaner than when you put a deep conditioner on your head. <laughs> um, would you be able to co-wash with a normal washout conditioner? I guess you could. If I'm gonna do something though, I'm gonna do it properly. So if I'm buying something for that purpose, i.e. a co-wash, I'm gonna buy it for that purpose. If I'm gonna buy a leave-in conditioner, I'm gonna use it as a leave-in conditioner. If I'm gonna buy a washout conditioner, I'm gonna use it as a washout conditioner. So would I buy this again? Yes, actually. I, I do like their brand and I definitely think it's something I will use. Knowing that it's been purposely made for a co-wash. I mean, I used to co-wash my hair back in the day with, uh, what was it? Hello Hydration. I forget the brand. It's a blue bottle. Gar was it Garnier? No, it wasn't Garnier. <laughs> Anyway, I used to <laughs> I used to use it as a co-wash and I did notice my hair grew super quick and I know that's because my hair had so much moisture in it, the moisture that it needed. So I do know that washing with just a normal washout conditioner, using it as a co-wash, I do know that can work as well. But as I said, I'm trying to do this hair journey properly, I'm not messing around this time. Not I weren't messing around before. This time, I'm really not messing around. <laughs> anyway guys, so I'm gonna go and wash this out my hair. As you can see, my curls are popping rather nicely. Any loose parts that I had, they're curling up. Tangled very nicely. I mean, it's not much different from a deep conditioner. I, I just keep saying it. Would I use it as a deep conditioner? I suppose you could. I really think you could. Yeah, I think you could. But I'm doing it properly, all right? So I'm gonna go wash this out my hair now. I'll come back to you with the final results and then that will be it for this video. Hey guys, so I've washed it out of my hair now. My hair does feel clean, but in a weird way. <laughs> Let me explain. It feels clean. My hair doesn't feel stripped. It feels moisturized. Now, it doesn't feel like there's a film on my hair, but it doesn't feel like my hair's been washed with soap because it hasn't. My hair feels, it feels soft. Don't get me wrong. There is no film on my hair. I think it's in my head actually. I think it's because I know I didn't wash it with a shampoo, a soap, a detergent, whatever you want to call it. But overall guys, I love how my hair feels. I am about to deep condition my hair, but I do love how it feels. I love how it looks. It feels healthy, it feels strong, and, and it does feel clean. I just have to get used to it. But anyway guys, that is it for this video. If you've had any comments or any other products that you'd like me to try, leave that down below in the description box. So I will see you soon. Take care, bye bye.